about uh, when I was on uh, Shannon Sharp was telling him the story of some of the behind the scenes from Friday after next. Let's start. Let's start with that. Uh, when I when I went out there, uh, let's just go back. In 2000, I was the host of BET Comic View and in the season 2004. Uh, I also worked on this show called Live from L.A. That was my first job with BET, and uh, that's where I met Ice Cube, uh, uh, if I'm not mistaken. And Ice Cube was like, man, hey, man, I like your work. Uh, I want to do some stuff with you. I want to put you in some movies. And Ice Cube started putting me in movies, which really uh, helped my career. Uh, I was in All About the Benjamins, <laughs> but of course, uh, when they changed the ending of it, it that part didn't make any sense, but uh, then he put me in Friday After Next. <clears throat> and uh, j just for clarification, I went out to audition for Friday After Next as Money Mike, not the Santa Claus. And that, that, is, that is the honest God truth. Uh, I had no reason to go on there and... Uh, uh, to go on Shannon Sharp's show and lie about any of that, uh, that that's what I auditioned for, uh, was Money Mike. And I guess the producers, uh, Cube and everybody saw something different. And uh, I, I think that Money Mike character, uh, Special K, was going to come off as kind of like uh, just a, 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 wonder, a, a guy who was hanging around in the uh, strip mall who was just kind of being annoying. Yeah. And almost like a crackhead type of character that was right. Just, so Cat, I, I guess when Cat Williams uh, uh, did it, they added the whole pimp twist uh, to that character, which was actually a better decision and made it funnier. Because ain't no way in the hell I could have uh, executed that role like that. And I'm glad that they made that decision and they put me in a Santa Claus role, uh, which was actually perfect. So when I got back to L.A., they said, hey, your role has changed. You're going to be the Santa Claus. And here's the Santa Claus suit. Put, put it on, and here's your lines. Sat in the trailer, went over the lines, went over my stuff with Cube, and the rest is history. Uh, had no reason, uh, I just want to want to clarify that, had no reason to lie uh, uh, about that. As a matter of fact, uh, my manager at the time, Gary Abdo, who is still one of my best friends who also helped start my career, and he's the owner of uh, the Atlanta Comedy Theater in Atlanta. Uh, we got him on the phone, just, just to clarify uh, Gary Abdo, good morning. Good morning, Leslie. How are you, my friend? Oh, I'm good, man. Uh, j just for clarification, you know, uh, you was my manager at the time. We went to L.A. together uh, for the audition. Uh, Cube wanted to see us. What is your version? Yeah, well, you know, we're old, and that was 23 years ago. So, you know, our memories are what our memories are. You you went out, you auditioned, they wanted you to play Money Mike. That was the sides that they had sent. The sides are the portion of the script for the part they want you to play. Those were the sides they sent. That was the audition you did. They said, great, we want you to play this role. Uh, my recollection is you had to go back and read for the execs from the studio one final time and the night before that we got different sides and they said no we want you to play this role and we didn't understand it you know we really were under the impression well you had the role as money mike but then all of a sudden they switched it up now we understand why cat came in blew them away he's an incredible performer that was probably one of the most iconic breakout parts in movie history. I mean, that Absolutely. was literally Cat that was literally Cat's first movie. You know, Friday was not Chris Tucker's first movie. Next Friday was not Mike Epps' first movie. To for that to have been Cat Williams' first movie and he exploded. I mean, that Killed literally it. made him an iconic touring comedian, one of the biggest to do it in this generation. And, you know, the rest, as they say, was history. But, yeah, absolutely, without a doubt, you were auditioning for Money Mike. We were told you had the role, and then that switched up 
overnight. And, and I'm glad I ended up doing the, being the Santa Claus because that that role was was uh, iconic and not as uh, as funny as his. I, I, I like the pimp. I personally like the pimp better, but the Santa Claus role was just perfect for me at the time. I was skinny and could run fast, uh, so. <laughs> And you could squeeze over that gate. So, yeah, that right. was the... I just uh, wanted to, 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 to clarify that. And then there was no contract ever uh, that uh, in, in agreement with the first Sunday movie because that was a whole different production directed by who just directed my Netflix special, David E. Talbert, uh, about me playing Bernice Jenkins. Uh, that's something that David called me personally. David and Lynn are fans and have been fans of my work for a long time and it was like we want you to play Bernice Jenkins and you know and 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 here you go and and that's what happened and I went out there and shot that in one day me and Red Grant and that was a lot of fun right. and it had nothing to do with uh Cat Williams contract uh or, or, or whatever so so I you know what I'm saying like uh I, I respect uh I respect Cat uh definitely disappointed that uh, you have to get on the air and explain something uh, uh, like this, but um, you know that, that's that's the that's the, that's the truth, and I, I don't know what else to say. So <laughs> there it is. There, there's not much. There's not much else to say. You, you know, it's indisputable that Cat played that role, killed it, killed and it, built an entire career out of that one role that all of us look at and go, "Wow, that's absolutely amazing." But it's also indisputable. You were auditioning for Money Mike. We were told you had and, and, the role. You just had to right. read one more time, and then that switched up. And, and the crazy thing about it is uh, we had a conversation. Uh, when it came out, he, he said a lot of this 12 years ago, and we had a conversation because I was on 14th Street in Atlanta, right by the Four Seasons Hotel, and I was driving down the street with my granddad in the car, and I saw Cat Williams going across the street on 14th Street, and I said, Cat, what's up? Uh, whatever. I just wanted to make sure we was good. He said, come over and have a cup of coffee with me because he was walking over to Starbucks. And I went over and went, uh, uh, he went in there and got the coffee. We was, uh, chopping it up or whatever. Just didn't even really talk about the issue or whatever. I said, Hey, man, I want you to come out and say hello to my granddad. Uh, my granddad is a fan. He came out to the truck. Uh, I'll never forget. I was in my Ford F 150 and I came out and spoke to my granddad. He hugged my granddad and wished him well. My granddad was like, keep doing what you're doing, young man. My granddad was living at the time. It was just me and my granddaddy in the truck. And uh and we dapped it up and that was uh that was it. I mean that that was that was it. And I thought that that we were good. I didn't know that we had any issues. And if there are any issues or if there's anything that I've done, uh not only to Cat Williams, to anybody. Uh I apologize and I'm not perfect. I made mistakes, but uh I did. I I you know, that, that's just the honest to God truth. And I did audition for what I auditioned for. And I'm glad that the producers made that decision. And let me address uh, all of the, 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 the things with uh, Gary. You can help me out with this because, you know, comedy greats like uh, Flip Wilson played Geraldine. Richard Pryor played some roles on his show. Uh, Jamie Foxx played Wanda. Uh, Martin played Shanae. Um, uh, I did. Bernice Jenkins, Tyler Perry did. Madea has a lot of comics and a lot of comedy greats that did characters for the sake of funny, for entertainment, for the sake of the laugh. And it has nothing to do with nobody's uh, comfortable in the role. Nobody wants to put on a, a, a damn dress or, or comfortable in it, you know. Uh, uh, that has nothing to do with my manhood being lessened for uh, trying to play a role and trying to put food on the table for my family. Uh, uh, because it's a, I grew it's a prop. It's it's nothing more than a prop. It's nothing more than a a, a, a way to get a laugh. I mean, back in you know Shakespeare's time, there were no females playing females role. Every female role was played by a man. You know, yeah, it's yeah. just part of an it's part of an art form. It's part of what makes it funny. You bring the funny to it. I wish that uh, uh, I'm sure you remember. People don't know about this. The pilot that you shot. For the King is a Comedy TV show, Bernice Jenkins had a whole sketch with Medea. Yeah, yeah, People I did a sketch with, uh, uh, with, with Medea, me, Earthquake, Tyler Perry, uh, Niecy Nash. Uh, we did a thing called The Pew. It's supposed to be like The View, but it was a church-based version of 
the view and uh it was just kind of great to see bernie jenkins the character and Medea. and i started off doing bernie jenkins uh doing prank phone calls on the on the uh book right. wild morning show in birmingham which spinned into hey i think you should do a character this would be a great character for this role so we were all in our 30s uh, uh late 20s doing what we had to do in order to be successful now that we we are older i'm comfortable in my job in uh, radio, I'm comfortable in, uh, you know, the roles that I get and the things that I, I get to do. And I just finished a, a phenomenal comedy special. So so the statement about Ricky Smiley is not funny. I've been sold out since 97. That part. Every, every single show I have done since 97, maybe not big arenas. But I, I pack up those theaters and, 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 and have to add shows and comedy clubs in between radio and all of that and raising the family I'm comfortable with. What, what makes me sad, um, I don't like the way that made my kids feel. And that's why I'm not going to, you know, uh, go after him because uh, he has kids and, and family members and nieces and nephews also. And it hurts. Uh, our family members and people that do love us when we say hurtful things about each other. So uh, we want to wish Cat Williams the best or uh, whatever. It ain't nothing but love over here just because we don't agree. Arnes J and I had beef for uh, about 20 years, and I end up sitting next to him on a plane. And when I saw him, I couldn't do nothing but grab him and hug him. And we text each other all day on Christmas Day. It feel like we're trying to make up for lost time. Two talented people that actually love each other. And uh, in our spe in our uh, special K, Cat Williams got some comedy dates coming up. He's going to be in Birmingham. Cat Williams is coming to Huntsville. I want y'all to go out and support him. I want y'all to pack those damn theaters and show nothing but unconditional love uh, to him and to any comic that come into our space. You know, Birmingham, Huntsville, that's like my area or whatever where I grew up or whatever. Uh, K, K, you got the dates? Uh, yeah, you got us uh, uh, January 12th, Cedar Park, Texas, the 14th, Estero, Florida, the 19th, Huntsville, Alabama, the 26th of January, Tupelo, Mississippi. I'll go ahead and uh, get on Ticketmaster, get them tickets. Yeah, make sure y'all go out and see Cat Weavers and go out and support him, man. It's all it's all love over here because it's enough money out here for everybody. Um, so what we're addressing for everybody that's tuning in, we're just in the, addressing the whole uh, Cat Weavers situation, and uh, I'm gonna I'm leave it at that, man, uh, because uh, here's the thing what we all need to understand here's what we all need to understand you know where you've been but you don't know where you're going and you don't know who you're going to need and I promise to God if, 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 if there's anything that he or anybody in his family on his staff ever need we'll be there you know because I stick up for comics and, and we all are not perfect and we all don't get along all the time or whatever. We all have issues, but at the same time, we are all in the same game. I don't agree with all the cues all the time. I go, to, I go to the conclave and go through different stuff with the bros or whatever. But at the same, at, at the end of the day, uh, Omega Psi Phi, that's friendship is essential to the soul. Manship, uh, 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 manhood, scholarship, uh, uplift. Uh, I'm my mind racing so, uh, 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 I, I can't, I can't even think straight. Uh, uh, our four cardinal principles or uh, whatever my mind just racing right now because I'm, I'm trying not to miss trying not to misquote anything uh, so so thank y'all for this opportunity I gave three I know the cues is gonna kill me uh, but thank y'all so much for this opportunity to uh, explain this and um, you know uh, Rick let me say something real fast because back to the Bernice Jenkins situation because at one point in time you was close to retiring that character yeah. and, and that that showed that's comedy genius to me. That shows your versatility as an entertainer. And and I'm glad and I think we all can speak for this. I'm glad that you didn't retire Bernice Jenkins because that's that's comedy Hall of Fame type stuff, man. So be proud of who you've done, what you've done in your career and, and the versatility of your skill, man. That is what it is. Yeah. So yeah, can I, uh, if I can say something real quick, Ricky, I've known you since nineteen ninety two. I've known you since before Bernice Jenkins was born. In in essence. And I couldn't be prouder of all the work you've done. You've always worked so hard. It, it, it's just, it's amazing to look back and watch somebody grow their career to the heights like you have done. So congratulations on everything. 
Yeah, and the, and, the, uh, and, the, and the thing about it is we employing people. We feeding, uh, supporting the whole girls' school over in Kenya, uh, doing great things in the community, uh, doing great things with our uh, uh, wonderful national fraternity. And, uh, and then, you know, the thing about it is it just came at a, a crazy time because I'm actually somewhere away from Birmingham trying to figure out.